Over the last couple of weeks on this channel, I've unwittingly started this new series of taking famous non-rum cocktails and putting a rum twist on them. Uh, and it's kind of a series that I've thought, actually, that's pretty decent. Let's carry on with it. So previous couple of weeks, I've done a, a rum Manhattan, which is obviously a whiskey cocktail. Uh, we've then transitioned into a rum flip on a Negroni, which again is a, a gin cocktail or a Boulevardier is a whiskey version of that. So we're taking that. And I thought, actually, let's go down the garden path and take even more classic famous cocktails and make them even better with rum because let's face it they are going to taste even better with rum of course they are so today's cocktail is the bramble very very simple cocktail i'm going to cut away and show you how i've made it in a second but what i'm also going to do is just do the little deep dive on the rum i'm going to make a whole batch of brambles up and just see what rum for me makes the best bramble. I've made this with Old Mother Hunt uh, Silver here. Scottish rum distilled from scratch in Scotland. But let's see, I, I have tasted this. I, I'm a big fan of Jamaican rum in this or with that little bit of um, sort of funk to it. So I'm gonna do Jamaican, I'm gonna do some clarin as well. And then some other sort of column and pot and blended rums just to see kind of the twist that we can come up with. And half the reason this cocktail is so lovely is because it's so easy to make. I'm just going to quickly show you. Uh, we're going, I've got, you're, you're, this is the whole point of the video. We're going to deep dive into the rums in a second. I've just picked up Old Mother Hunt here. Uh, so we go a double bubble, uh, 50 mil. I'm UK in this one. So 50 mil, if, you got, if you're in the US, 60 mil. So 50 mil, double bubble of uh, your white rum of choice. Uh, we've got 25 mil of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're then going, you don't really need too much more than this. I was going to say adjust the taste, but you don't need to. Uh, 15 ml of uh, your sugar syrup. There we go. Simple syrup, sugar syrup, cane syrup, whatever you've got. Now, traditionally, uh, the blackberry is kind of drizzled over at the end. It does look good. It's a great piece of theatre, but let's go faff free. So we're going to shake the kind of blackberry. Now, you lot know. Uh, I always say this, Giffard Frambois de Ronce, once you go FDR, you will never go back. It is like Chambord on steroids. Um, the difference is this is Scottish Tayberry, so this is blackberry and raspberry cross, essentially. Chambord is a black raspberry liqueur. Creme de Mure, in my opinion, is better than black than Chambord. So you, if you, I know Chambord's the easiest one to get in the UK from your supermarkets, but uh, I promise you, Creme de Mure is better than Chambord love creme de mure but this is even better than creme de mure i promise you once you go fdr you will never go back so this is Giffard uh from uh, and again 15 mil so this you know this will take kind of the give it a lovely sort of berry uh twist to the cocktail delicious absolutely delicious so good hard fast power shake give it some welly and serve up i've got a nice ice cold glass with a tiny bit of crushed ice in there for the moment just single strain that in over the top top it up with even more crushed ice plenty of crushed ice don't be shy there we go and then the garnish a couple of blackberries i've always got some blackberries in the freezer and i love the color contrast so a couple of sprigs of mint in there and there's your rum bramble so the tasting note this is a fantastic look it's a fantastic cocktail. I'll be honest, if I'm going to have a gin cocktail, the bramble is going to be the one I pick. I do love the bramble. It's just simple, you know, as you've seen, sugar, lemon, gin, and that berry liqueur. The Frambois de Ronce does make it spectacular, but because I'm a rum lover, the rum slant on this drink is delicious. It's so well balanced. A little bit of tart sweetness to it, but not overly sweet. It's not a tropical sweet cocktail. It's a fun, well-balanced, fruity cocktail. It's absolutely delicious. I love it with the Old Mother Hunt Silver. Now, as you see, I can I love my deep dives. Instead of doing two videos, I've picked out what I think would be four interesting plantation videos in there. I'm not going to bother with the spiced rum because I'll let you into a little secret. There ain't going to be many. I wouldn't say actually spiced rum is going to be a little bit different. I wouldn't do Chairman's Reserve Spiced, Rum Bullion, uh, Puss's Gunfire Proof, anything like that in this cocktail. The same way I wouldn't do a Demerara rum in this cocktail. Should have done Eldorado, three-year-old, never thought of that. Um, but I, I just kind of wouldn't do those vibes. This is a light, refreshing cocktail. I don't want those vibes in a cocktail. But that said, the flavoured spiced rums, stuff like Hursty's, uh, let's, let's go up here. 
like the grapefruit, the grapefruit grenade, Dali alcohol backs is 65%. It's going to be fantastic. The passion fruit grenade in there, again, perfect. It's going to be amazing. What else have we got? Probably not the spice drum, probably not the banana bomb either, but those fun, fruity spice drums, including these. I've still got these down here, the no name. Uh, so the coconut is going to be amazing in there. I'll tell you why in a second. The cherry is going to be, well, of course the cherry is going to work and the mango is going to work as well. So all those flavoured spiced rums are going to work a treat. But how do we go with the white rums? And then I'll talk about the plantation rums in a second, these three down here, but the white rums. Now, I'll be brutally honest, picking like four or five of these taste identical. Uh, so the Claro is, is a little bit, sort of, I don't know what the word is, a little bit more vanilla-y, maybe, than the silver, but not too much, you know, not too much. Same with the Chairman's Reserve. Again, it's got a little bit extra to it, but not too much. The Brugel, it, it's nice, Again, it's lovely. These are all absolutely lovely. But my head with the Brugel is why I didn't do too many column stills in here, the lighter ones, as much as I like them in a daiquiri, because you've got the berry, and it's essentially like a berry daiquiri, let's be brutally honest. Um, because of the berry note in there, and it is a, a flavoured berry note, you don't really allow the nuances of the sort of lighter column still rum to really come through in this. Bear with me, because there, there is a little twist on this as well. So my top picks out of the white rums, I'm, I'm, so I'm talking here for a second. Let's come on to those in a second. I'm talking here. I love, I love them. That all of them would be strong eight. If I'm if I'm going to say the best is ten out of ten in a bramble, all these are strong eight out of tens in a bramble. They are amazing. But the pick of the bunch for me is that Dawley's three year old, and this is the forty seven percent ABV. This is absolutely lovely. Just that little extra kick in alcohol. The tropical flavours in that. It's a stunner. It really is a stunner. And then actually in second place, I'm going plantation three stars. Because again, that is absolutely belting. It's amazing. Are they better than the old mother hunt? I would just say just very slightly because of the extra dimensions of the rum. So, come back to those three plantations in a second. Let's go up here because with these, so we've got a blend of Jamaican and Trinidad there. Uh, Jamaican, we've got an agricole, 50% agricole, and we've got a clarin, a Haitian clarin. <laughs> if you like those funk notes to a cocktail, and this would probably, if I was running a bar now, um, and I'm not saying friends coming around, I'm running a bar, okay? If I'm running a bar, and I want to point a difference, I'm going for this flavour profile in the Bramble. These are flipping delicious. Um, I prefer the streamer tail just slightly over the rum bar. Just very slightly. Uh, I think the streamer tail has got that sort of more rounded, because of the Trinidad in there as well, it's got that more rounded sort of Jamaican vibe to it, whereas that's just pure Jamaican. Delicious. Still delicious, but I'm preferring the streamer tail. However, when we get to these two, these are next level. Those two rums absolutely suit this cocktail to a tee. The Cane Blue, that sort of agricole, grassy, citrusy vibe comes off in there but my star of the show my st absolute star of the show is this clarin communal that is absolutely fantastic that would be my serve for the bramble a rum bramble with that clarin communal stunning I absolutely adore that it's um i can't like clarin is a different vibe to jamaican it's got that, you still got that sort of grassy, sort of citrusy edge, vegetable, her, herbaceous, if you, if you even want to go there. It is just works so well. And it's kind of, you know, when we talk about gins, gins we would describe as kind of herbaceous, as floral and that. It's just the base kind of liquid of that is sugar cane juice, as opposed to like distillate with no flavour to it, if you know what I mean. So, Clarin is my absolute star of the show out of the white rums. I adore that. That is gorgeous. We come down here. I threw these in. So I've got the Plantation Fiji. And we've got the pineapple, the Stiggins Fancy. And I've got the, the Cane Rock. Yes, there's spiced rum. Yes, there's ginger in there. But the big overriding flavour is coconut in there. It's like a coconut Jamaican vibe spiced rum. Now, 
for that kind of vibe, completely different from that vibe, kind of vibe, that is flipping delicious. Huge coconut on the nose. Subtle bit of spice coming out the back there. There's sort of Jamaican rum in there. Delicious. In the same way I'm giving that, probably the 10 out of the 10, if that's the best I can make for that cocktail, that has to be the 10 out of 10. That is a strong nine out of 10. For a completely different reason than say something like the Dorleys is a nine. A completely different flavor profile. So I adore that cane rock. The cane rock is delicious. The pineapple, you're getting onto the little twist now. Again, it really, really works. You're kind of getting away from the, what the cocktail is, which is that classic sort of berry, kind of daiquiri kind of flavor. But pineapple and berry, of course, works. This is just stunning. Absolutely love that. And then I wanted to throw an aged rum in there. I didn't want to go too far. Like, as I say, I wouldn't do an Appleton eight-year-old in there. I wouldn't do a Chairman's Legacy. Um, where the, uh, you know, I wouldn't have gone those. But the Fiji has got those lighter tropical notes to it. Three and six-year-old rums, I do believe in that. That works, a treat. Not as clean and crisp as a white rum. Bear in mind what I always talk about with my daiquiris. That is an absolute belter. Love those. But, you know, solid, solid. All of these are solid. There is not rum. The worst, what I'm basically saying, the worst ones of the lot to use in this for me would be a light column still rum because there is no extra flavour kind of bouncing off uh, the berry notes in there. It's a fantastic cocktail. It really is, those classic rums, classic sort of column still rums. I love them in daiquiris. But for this cocktail, you just want something that's slightly bit extra. So I can't stop drinking that. That's fantastic. The communal, the clarin in that. Woohoo! Cheers. 